Hey creators, today is a really exciting day because I'm going to be able to show you how you can use Nano Banana directly inside of Photoshop. Yep, you heard me. Nano Banana is now inside of Photoshop and I'm really excited to show you this. There are awesome other AI partner models that I want to show you inside of Photoshop and this video is sponsored by Adobe Firefly. But I want to dive in and show you because I'm so excited for this one. Let's take a look. Okay, here we are inside of Photoshop. And I've just got this picture of me, and you can see I've got some other layers here that I'm gonna reveal shortly. But we've got this image of me, and we're just gonna come over to the select panel. We're gonna select the whole image. We're gonna then click on generative fill. And then once we've clicked on generative fill, let's say we want to replace my shirt with a green shirt. Okay. Now you can see here we've got some different partner models now. We've got Gemini 2.5, also known as Nano Banana, and we've got the Flux Context Pro. Now I'm going to switch to Gemini on this one, and we're going to click on Generate, and we're going to see what this comes up with. And there we go, we've got a different coloured shirt on there. It's kept all the creases in there. It actually looks like it's just me with a different colored shirt on there and you can go into a lot more detail on here these are some of the prompts that i've put together playing about with this and i thought i'd share these for you so this one we've got here and you can see it pops up with the actual prompt here as well so we've got that to refer back to but if i turn the layer on we can see we actually changed from the original image we changed the coffee into a full english breakfast and also a pot of ketchup and you can see how it's actually matched that ceramic of the plate next to this which is really cool and then i thought let's have a little bit of fun with this so i put myself in a 1920s flapper dress which was really fun and then i thought let's try and put myself in a cowboy hat uh, so we did that and then what's the next one? We zoomed out on this one. So that's the other thing is like, you can actually zoom out of the image. And I thought, let's make it a little bit more of a party atmosphere. You can see it's added people there behind me. And I've asked it to also add in there the red glasses or the red rimmed glasses, party glasses that you sometimes see at these kind of like party events and things like that. Next, we've gone with a zooming out and adding a person next to me. Then we've got that person next to me and they're drinking a pumpkin spice latte. And then we added the sunglasses. You can see their little subtle difference there. We've added the sunglasses there for me. And then we replaced the backdrop with as if we were inside a cozy kind of like buckshop kind of like vibe and then i thought like let's change the background to see if we're in outer space wasn't quite what i was expecting but then i kind of like played around with this and i said put us in outer space floating and there you go it's added us in outer space as if we were actually floating and then i wanted to kind of like add a street photography kind of like vibe with a candid expression wasn't 100% sure about this one, but again, this was one that actually came up. This one was using the Flux Context Pro model, which you can change just by clicking on this icon down here. You can change the model that you're using. And then I thought, hmm, I wonder if you can use this to take a, like a normal kind of like photo that you might have taken to maybe create a LinkedIn kind of like professional photo. And there you go, it's put me in a blue suit and tie, making me look very smart and professional. I've not looked like that in years. Like, I've, I've not worked in an office for years, so I thought that was quite interesting, made me look quite smart there, I thought. And then I thought like, what about like on the face? And this one, we I thought like, let's have a go with doing some face painting. So this one was in the Day of the Dead style kind of like image and it's actually added the face paint in on there for me. And then I thought to myself, well, I'm all team Adobe right now and they are offering a limited number of generations available until the 28th of October. Just checking my dates down there. So really big thank you to Adobe Firefly for sponsoring this video. And in celebration of that, 
I thought, let's go to full Team Adobe, and that's what we've got. So we can see there, we've gone from, so turn off all of these models, and we can see there, we've gone from me wearing a gray t-shirt, having a cup of coffee, to being full on red jacket, sunglasses, Adobe hat, and I think you'll agree that the generations that are created inside of Photoshop are absolutely amazing. Try a partner AI models yourself today in Photoshop. I'll drop a link down below. And there are a limited number of generations that you can try until the end of October, the 28th of October, 2025. And I've also put down there a link to the 130 prompts that I've created for you to try out. So you're not gonna be short of using up and trying those free credits that you're gonna get by trying this today. Until next time, thank you very much. Bye for now.